Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here. Well, you might be looking at this and going, Darlington Farm, what the hell is that thing? It looks like a cannon bullet or something. Well, no, this is actually a collet chuck off of my little lathe there. And uh, yeah, I just took it off there and I was wanting to pull the uh, collet out of it and see what kind of collet it takes. So basically what this is, basically like a drill chuck where there's a gear in there that turns around and it squeezes whatever you put in there. And I was going to see if I could find some collets uh, because I was going to turn down and make myself a like little project machinist hammer. And I realized this big chuck here won't chuck on any or won't tighten up smaller than an inch. So I needed to come up with another way to clamp uh, smaller stuff in it. Now I was able to get uh, the smaller four jaw that goes down pretty small, but it, it's meant for it to be threaded on something. So what I think I might do is um, pick up a piece of bar stock and just thread this onto that bar stock. And then I can chuck that bar stock up into this other chuck for little stuff where I don't have to mess with taking this big chuck on and off, but that's a project for another video. This video is about this making a key for this uh, call it chuck here. Basically, it looks like you need like a drill chuck key that fits down in this hole and actuates this gear down in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not, but there's a rotating flat gear in there, so you need something you can jam in there and turn it. Well, I uh, totally lost my train of thought there. I was going to start over again here. Anyway, so yeah, that is the uh, chuck there. Or, and uh, anyway, uh, a buddy of mine who's a machinist was out today, picked up some metal. Um, great guy, super, super talented machinist. Like, I've learned so much from him. Anyway, uh, he was talking about making a Torx uh, for getting a transmission out of something. He did a weird size Torx. And um, yeah, I was talking about making, the, making one of those. And I went in the house and I was looking on eBay to see if I could find one of those, you know, a chuck key or something that would fit that collet. And it occurred to me, like, I am such a dumbass. I have my own milling machine and a rotating table here where I can lock in lock it in at certain uh, you know certain degrees along here and uh, yeah so I just made the made the damn key uh, anyway so as you're gonna see this guy here that uh, that is the key right there it hopefully will fit in there okay I haven't tested it yet but anyway I went through the math here originally I was going to do this uh, with uh, nine splines, I ended up rounding up to ten. So basically, if you want to figure out how many teeth you can put on a shaft like this, what you can do is take and find the circumference, which is pi times diameter, which in this case is 3.14 times 0.975, which leads me with point or 3.061, as that is the circumference of this piece of bar stock. Now I am using a 332nd, excuse me, 516th end mill in there, which is 0.3125 or 312 thousandths. Now, I was originally, like I said, going to try and round this down to eight teeth and make my flats a little bigger in here, but after I got to looking at that, I decided that those were a little bit too big, so I ended up bumping this up to 10, which I probably should have done in the first place. So I've got 10 flutes around here, which ended up being surely. I'm terrible at doing math in my head. 10 divided by 360 and you come up with 36 degrees. So you just take, and as you're gonna see in the table, or in the video here, you stop this guy every 36 degrees. And also um, there's a plate here that I'm sure lets you do this automatically. I just have been doing the math on each one of them, locking it in place and making my flutes here. Now I centered up this guy and the chuck here with the centering plug that same machinist made for me. It is just a two and a half inch or two inch plug or whatever that with a three quarter shank on it that goes up in my milling machine here. So yeah, it is really that simple. I'm gonna take it out of the chuck here and give it a try.
finishing pass here on these guys. I just did about a third or so of the radius of the uh, of the deal there. Now I'm just coming back and doing my cleanup pass here at the right uh, depth. I'm just using the auto feed here, watching on my scale here for when it is time for me to click it off. Almost good enough. I'm going to crank it up, advance to the next position, and uh, you're cutting gears like a glove. Now I just need to put a handle on it, and I got myself a key for this guy. I am thrilled. That turned out awesome. Anyway, I need to make a make myself a handle for that so I can just stick it in there and actually have something with some leverage on it. But yeah, that's my next step here. So I uh, may end up doing that tomorrow. So I think I'm going to end the video here. But yeah, so that is basically a quick and easy way you can make a gear or something like that. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button down there. And thank you for watching.